Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at master pages in InDesign and how you can be more efficient in your production when you're creating them. So let's get started. First off, you're going to do new file. It's a blue button on the top left corner. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to pick the print tab at the top. It's really important to pick this. We're going to change our units to inches and then we're going to look around. Um, I'm going to make a horizontal landscape design. I'm not really sure what format I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to add the bleed, which is 0.125. It does it automatically for all four. I'm going to put down the margins to the same. So I have that space on the side. Um, slug is only if you're printing things and you write stuff in your printer, so we're not going to look at that for today, but it's there. Keep it in mind for the future. Uh, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to half this. I'm going to go 8.5 by 4.25. Uh, if you press the preview at the bottom, it can show you what it looks like. I think it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to shorten it. I'm going to do six by four. There you go. That's, that's a perfect size. Uh, facing pages is when you want to create a magazine or a pamphlet or flop or anything like that. Not a flyer, just a pamphlet. You can make a flyer this way, but it's preferable not to. And primary text frame is if you want the box in the page to be a text frame. That's all. I'm going to add it for this time. Look over it. Yep. I'm going to create. So there you have it. So we have our pages right here. And as you can see, we have layers like any other project. Uh, just a quick note. I'm in the advanced, like up here in the top left. You're probably going to be in essentials or essentials classic when you open in designs, but just put it in advance if you want to follow this uh, guide. So I'm going to add a couple more pages here. Uh, I'm going to go up to six. So I have spreads in the middle. As you can see, uh, I do have text, but this is the cover. This is what I would consider cover. And this is what I would consider the back of the magazine if I were making one. And then in the middle is the two spreads. So let's go back to our cover. So we're going to start off by working in our master pages. So master pages is pretty much a page that will repeat itself throughout all of your other pages. So up here you have a parent and you have two pages. So these are your spreads right now. And as you can see in the top corners of your pages, there's going to be a letter associated. So right now it's A. But right now, all your pages are on the same master pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another set of master pages to help me out in this project here. Um, I don't want to create individual assets on each different pages. So I'm really just going to focus on the master pages. So there you go. Then I'm going to right click on the name and I'm going to go to parent options. I'm going to rename this, just write it inside. And then for, yeah, I'm just showing that there's two pages here. Then for the parent page, I'm going to do the same thing, parent options, and then I'm going to write CB for cover back. And then in a number of pages, I'm only going to write one and press okay. So now you see like all on the pages, it's written CB. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that and drag and drop it on the pages. It's already there, but I'm still doing it. Then for the inside, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna drag and drop on the inside pages so that you see the letter in the corner changes from CB to B. So this is where the fun starts. Um, now I'm going to go on my master page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a box at the bottom uh, left corner 
And in this box, I'm going to add uh, a letter. So I'm going to go pick my text tool and then I'm just going to write the letter A for now. I'm going to align this uh, to the bottom. So as you can see, once you have the box selected, you can align the text inside to the top, center or bottom, but I'm going to align it to the bottom. And then I want the text inside the box to be centered so that I'm going to just highlight the text and center it. There you go. So then we're going to go and type and we're going to and insert a special character. But first, do not forget to highlight. I forgot to highlight my text. So that's why everything is grayed out. So just highlight the text, type, insert special characters and go to markers. You see, I'm looking for it because I don't do this often anymore. In markers, you're going to do current page number. So it's going to change it to B. But then what you're going to want to do is control shift and drag it to the other side. So it's going to make a copy of that. It's going to keep all its settings. So then when you go back to your pages, now you have page numbers. It's really that simple. And every time you create new pages, those new pages are going to have page numbers as well. That's one of the first things that you can do with master pages is adding page numbers. I'm going to delete these because I don't need them now. But your page numbers are always going to be there. Now, going back to your master pages, this is where you're going to want to do all of the design and apply all your branding stuff. So for now, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to apply a box. So let's say I want to put some color. I put a box behind. I pick the color, some random blue. Then I'm going to arrange and send it to the back. Right click, arrange, send it back. And now the B is on top of that. I'm going to control, I'm going to select it, alt shift drag to the other corner. So it's giving me the exact same thing. As you can see, I'm trying to show you that shift only keeps it on the same align. Oops, zoomed up too much, zoomed up too, <laughs> zoomed in too much. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to fix my font, but now you can see if you go throughout your pages, you can notice that the pages all have that blue square. So everything that you apply to the master pages is going to show up on your inside. So now I want to apply my font. My font is Poppins. So I'm going to put a uh, Poppins black. Then I'm going to go select the other B, use the eye drop tool and click on the B that I just did. And that's going to apply automatically the font. You don't have to go and research it again or whatever. It's a quick trip. Quick tip. <clears throat> now you're going to notice that on all of your pages, it's going to be applied already. So that font is there. Everything's good. We love it. So to show you a little bit more about these master pages, um, you can make multiple master pages for everything that you need. But since this is just to show you the basics of things, I didn't do all of the different variants. But let's say you want to add an image to your cover and you want it to repeat on your cover and on your back. I'm just going to make a square, center it and add an image to that square. Um, by the way, to switch out from behind and um, the artboard's view, presentation and work, it's just W. So there you have it. I just made the box. I centered it. I'm going to change the color of it randomly, but I am going to add a picture to it. So I don't really know why I decided to do that. But yeah, so now as you can see, that image is on the front and on the back. 
I, I can't move it from the pages. I can only edit it from the master page. We're here to take it out the text box. But this is where I'm going to add a picture. So I did control D and I'm just going to add a random picture. There you have it. But now, as you can see, it applies itself to the cover and to the back. So anything that you add to your master pages will be added to your overall design. Don't forget to work with the layers. So how the layers work is that if you have layers in your master pages, they will also be reflected on your design. So I usually do three layers. I do one for the text that's on top. I do another one for logos. I'm having trouble remembering it here. I wrote design, but it's logos. And then your design is in the back of your text. Sometimes you have design on top or whatever, but the gist of it is always to separate everything. So I'm putting my design on that layer, then I'm taking the text and I'm sliding it into the text layer so that when you go back to your master pages, if you want to hide the text, if you want to hide the, the logos, you can easily just switch them out. Layers are important in layout design. I cannot push this information further. You have to do it. It's important. You'll lose track of everything if you don't fix things up. So that's pretty much how those work. Um, I'm going to show you an ex another example. If you want to add some text, let's say the title of your magazine or maybe the title of the section of your magazine, this is how you do it. Like I said, you can add different master pages. So let's say you have four sections. Well, you could have four different master page sections, which you can then apply to your pages. So if you have 24 pages and like, I don't know, uh, six are for beauty, five or you can just make different sections for each. And you can add the text at the top. I'm just making another little design here where I'm adding a line to it and changing the font, but basically this is the way to do it. So you don't have to constantly repeat and copy paste everything. It's already in place. Uh, before doing any of this, usually you would draw out your layout designs and how you want things to go. But overall, this is how you would apply the general designs that you want on every pages. So here I'm using the title of my video, I'm changing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and apply it to the other page. So easy way is to grab Alt Shift, drag to the other side. Same thing for the text, Alt Shift, drag. It's going to copy everything precisely. You can alternate between uh, I forgot the word for it. <laughs> you can alternate views by pressing W and this is going to be set up this way. So then when you're in your mass on your pages, it's always going to be intact. And then you can add your designs when you're on your pages indirectly. So like if you don't want the circle to be on all of your pages, then you can go apply it to that page precisely. But your master pages are going to be the ones that will have the generalized information that will be propagated throughout your magazine. So it's really important to practice this. It helps a lot. It makes things a lot faster when you're designing magazines. Then after that, you just have to kind of worry about the interior layout design of your images, your pictures and stuff like that. Usually the cover and the back are individual, uh, but if you make multiple magazines for the same thing, then obviously you would make a master design and then every month, let's say it's just the picture in the back that changes where you could just change the picture. So I hope this was useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. This is one of my first videos, so any feedback is appreciated. And I hope you have an awesome day. Follow 
like, subscribe, whatever. Uh, just make sure you make put down some comments and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.